A firm belief in the benefits of genomic testing has prompted Riverina sheep breeder Murray Long to completely overhaul the structure of his flock. Mr Long, who owns the Pendara White Suffolk stud at Ardlethan, is drastically scaling back his ewe numbers from 800 to 450 to allow him to focus on testing and breeding for specific genetic traits. I'm looking at genomics as not only a way of, of getting the better product for my commercial producers and ultimately for consumers, but also changing the way I manage the property. I'm, I'm looking at making my job easier. And if I can use genomics to make my management a lot, more easy, a lot easier and a lot more streamlined, then that's, that's the way I'm heading. That's, that's what I'm thinking at the moment. I'm really excited about it, actually. It's good. Mr Long says the key is to set clear breeding objectives and select stock according to a consistent genetic profile, with help from ASBVs and DNA tests provided by the sheep CRC. He says selecting a team of at least five rams based on their collective average for those specific traits means that the average outcome in the progeny will be highly predictable. Mr Long says the test will also make joining a less labour intensive and time consuming process, freeing up a valuable resource on his property, his time. Where I see genomics really assisting in that is that I'll be able to join ewes in much larger mobs, make better use of paddock space, make better use of resources such as feed and water, and, not, and st still have to go around and check lambs and, and do tagging, but not be so worried about where the, where the parentage lies in that because I know that there's, the parentage test is available um, to, to, um, to sort out any, any indiscrepancies I might have and basically just making a whole range of changes that are all based on better use of resources and resources being my time as well. Mr Long plans to DNA test about 25 to 30 per cent of his ram lambs each year for hard to measure traits including meat eating quality and to add accuracy to growth and carcass traits that are measured later in life. I've used ram lambs previously, but what I've done to, to make sure I've got them right is I've kept quite a number of older sires there to benchmark them. Where I see genomics as being really important is that by adding that little bit more accuracy and getting genomics to do some, some verification, if you like, of what we've already measured, I, don't, I still see a need for benchmarking, but I don't see that that needs to entail 50% of the rams that I'm using. I can benchmark with one or two old sires just to make sure that, that things are right. Although there is currently no additional payment for meat eating quality, Mr Long believes it is only a matter of time before processors start using it as a marketing tool. He plans to be ready when they do. That's the ultimate thing that genomics will give you that consistency of product because genes are not affected by, by, by feed or, or, the, or the, the climate. So once you've analysed the genes for these meat eating quality traits, it's not going to change. Okay, there might be a slight gene environment direction with, with some, of the, some of the issues, but, but they can bank that the land that they're sourcing is tender, it's tasty, and ultimately when it ends up in the, in, in the butcher's shop, consumers are going to love it and keep coming back for more.